An archer practicing with a bow and arrow shoots an arrow straight up two times. The first time the initial speed is V0 and the second time he increases the initial speed to four times V0. How would you compare the maximum height in the second trial to that in the first trial? So we're going to first write down our given information. So V1 is equal to V0, that's the initial velocity of trial 1 shown here where the archer shoots the arrow up at a speed of v naught and this is trial 2 so v2 is equal to 4 times v naught now for both cases their acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared and we know when they reach their maximum height they're all going to have a final velocity of zero meters per second. All right, so now that we have our given information written down for both trial one and trial two, we can now go on to solve for trial two's maximum height in terms of trial one's. So based off of our given information and what we have to calculate, so we have to figure out delta x one and delta x2 for each case. So now the only equation that has all four of these components is v squared is equal to v naught squared plus 2a delta x. So we have to use the second kinematic equation in order to solve for the maximum height. Alright, so we're going to do that now. So we have to get delta x on its own. So we're going to subtract v naught squared from both sides. Then we're left with 2a delta x is equal to v squared minus v naught squared. Now we're going to divide by 2a from both sides. Then we're left with delta x so delta x equals v squared minus v naught squared all over 2a. Now we remember that the final velocity of this, so it's really v1f squared minus v1 squared over 2a. Now v1f is equal to zero, so we can cancel that out. v1 squared is v naught, so this winds up being a negative v naught squared over two times. a is a negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So we can cancel out these negative signs. So the ones being plus. So our delta x1 is equal to v naught squared over 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. Now we have to solve for what it will be in trial 2. So similar case as up here. So we start off with v squared is equal to v naught squared plus 2a delta x. Now we have to switch this equation, equation around to solve for delta x minus v naught squared from both sides. Leaves us with 2a delta x is equal to v squared minus v naught squared. Now we divide both sides by 2a. And then we have, once again, delta x is equal to v squared minus v naught squared all over 2a. Now, once again, if we plug in for what our v2 final and v2 are, we would see that this is 0, so we can cancel that out. And then we're left with a negative v2 squared over 2a. Now negative, now our v2 is really 4 times v0, so we can go ahead and plug that in. So negative times, now it's 4 v0 squared. 4 squared times v0 squared. And that's over 2 times negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now if we cancel out the negatives and square this, we would find that delta x2 is equal to 16 v0 squared over 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. 
Now, as you notice, delta x1 is v0 squared over 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. So we can see that delta x2 is really equal to 16 times delta x1. So this is a comparison of the maximum heights of the two. So in the second trial, the arrow goes 16 times the height of that in trial one. So now if we return to our choices, we would see that our answer is D, 16 times greater.